Welcome back to another episode of Stoppage Time TV. We're back live in the flesh. I'm half in the flesh because I'm very sick, but we're here. Throughout here, comes here. Hold tight, everyone that collected three points. If you didn't collect three points, then boy, you've got some explaining to do. But the streets are talking a lot anyway. The streets are saying that Lampard's a great coach. They're saying that certain fans are telling their cap- um, certain captains are telling their fans to F off. Um, they're saying that Martial and Rashford are restoring the feeling. Um, what, ha- what else happened? A lot's happening, man. But obviously, you did a preview. You were pessimistic, but you have to answer for your sins for today, anyway. So tell me what <laughs> your team, your, the stupidness your team did. They taught me for it. You got the minute. You, they got the bus there. Started off one nil. Started off well as well. Surprisingly, I mm. mean, considering our form's been what since January. It's been awful now. What did you say five minutes ago <laughs> when we were good? <laughs> well, <it's> January. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, but Liverpool have had a great home record and I didn't even think going into the game we stood any chance. And as soon as the goal went in, I think order was restored almost like because we were camped in our half pretty much the whole game, I would say. I don't the think only, the only thing I would say yeah. is this first half, maybe they didn't create any real clear-cut chances, but their fullbacks were just bombed. Like when you just compare the two teams, fullbacks is just so different levels, absolutely. But what did Warkin say about um, dumb and dumber? <laughs> is what he called the Spurs fullbacks. Uh, he's got, he hates Danny Rose, you know. Bro, I know. Like, Danny Rose. But, uh, no, but he, he had an awful game this week. But forget Danny Rose, please. Serge Aurier, <laughs> get out of my club. Why I is Poch not playing? Um, Sissoko right back. No, play not Sissoko. anybody but Aurier. I'm talking about the actual right back. Yeah, no, nah, allow it, man. He's, he's, no, but he's he like showed, he showed in the first couple games. Mistake. Listen, no, but didn't he start already? Right? We had mm. who's that? Walker's Piers, didn't he? First couple right? games he started, and we didn't start off great. Yeah, he tri- needed to get made, dropped. He, nah, good, Trippier is uh, Walker's Peters is not the levels, and mm. we miss Trippier. I'm not even lying to you. What can't Foyth fill in that right back? Man? Who Foyth? Yeah. He was he was out injured for the start of the season. I don't even come think, back. But I don't, that, he's that not even a natural right back that, anyway. The penalty is unlucky though, man. It, for me, no, it's not even that. It's you made the recovery to make the tackle. Have the composure then to at least see the ball out, get it out. But yeah, but lash this is no, but this is this is the issue. What what you've just said is the issue. You have asked Serge Aurier <laughs> to have composure. And here's Madness. the issue with... Why is he with, starting? No, but this is the issue with Spurs as a collective. You're asking Serge Aurier to have composure. You are asking players to do stuff that they cannot do. You have Lucas Moura Listen, on the bench. Listen, Sam should have scored that second you goal. You have right Lucas Moura on the bench. second half as well. You have Ericsson that needs Bruv, to control the game. What does Lucas Moura have to do to get a game? You tell me. You're the cor- Bro, correspondent. Bro, like, I've been screaming for Lucas to get inside. Like Last season, he was mm. arguably our hero in all the big moments. And mm. he can't seem to get in the team. And instead, I'm seeing Ericsson getting dragged out wide. Ali looking useless in the middle of the field. I'm sorry, but since he's come back from injury, I don't know what the fuck he's playing at. Mm. Like He needs to actually can't say I didn't work warn his... Mm. Way back I into the team. Warn ya. <laughs> Ericsson needs to get moved into the middle more out wide because that one today. Nah, I'm sorry, but Sun for me should have. If he scored that, maybe would have been different. But Liverpool showed that they're actual champions by showing that they can come back and I'll actually be honest, win this. Liverpool, like, um, they did give have credit you, to them. Yeah, they. But again, they just keep doing. I'm getting tired of saying it every week. They're just they're not playing great at times and they're winning. Nah, Salah won't even. Involved like yeah. that, nah. scores the pen. I don't know how money got man in the match. That bad. same here. Work same here. <laughs> you got man in the match. For I don't work care great. if he's a losing team. Gazaniga should have got man in the match. Gazaniga was, was yeah, brilliant. In man. fact, been like, like man, love, love, an apology. I love, love that. Yours an apology for what? Because we told you that Lloris was shit. Like, I've like, been yeah. saying Lloris is shit. I said a couple no, weeks ago is is his time to shine now. You man, look at him shining from like two years ago, huh? Well, you're calling up big up two years ago. I'm is just this saying, what we're doing now? I'm saying you could have had Gazaniga. Uh, things that I've conceded a year ago. Lurie's you want to bring up again? Lurie's, Lurie's has if made like a hella bland bro. bro. <laughs> if you Lurie's look at the game, though, if you look at the game, yeah, the like, game, not, not even, th- like, there was a time where Spurs had a couple opportunities, obviously. On the counter, son, yeah. You guys could have punished them. You guys exposed Lovren. You guys were, like, I don't know. He, w- he was the only weak link in mm. their defence. And yeah. I think Trent as well, like, going mm. forward looked mm. so good. But was leaving massive gaps behind him yeah, as well. Yeah, where yeah. I thought Sun actually got in a few times, but like, but but uh, to why be did fair, Lovren stop? I don't know. I think Matic, Ma- where was Matic? No, he came on, didn't he? Gomez, what, what, he Gomez injury, came on, wasn't it? Yeah, and then Gomez came on at the end. But I think Gomez started. is just coming back. Yeah, yeah. but even Gomez so, should have started. Would you take? Way. I, I would, would you never take play Lovren. Lovren, Gomez Lovren. I don't know how he's even in the Liverpool team. To be honest, like he he should have been sold in the summer. But this again, this comes like 
if I see that, well, you don't know what's going to happen, but that's probably why you scored because you saw Love running 40. Can we acknowledge as well Jordan Henderson's goal? He was class today like, as well. Top, top. He should have arguably been man of the match. Like yeah, I said last week, the today. Henderson disrespect must stop, but that, that goal for me. Who is disrespecting him? He should have. He was class today. I, I mean, look, disrespecting Henderson. Henderson has these type of performances every now and again where he actually Last couple does, weeks, they've been on him. Yeah, yeah. They, they've been on him. Yeah, no, no. Like the, Liverpool Liverpool fans have been, the Liverpool fans have been on Henderson a lot, especially after the United game because it was a type of game where you've got to come and break us down. Like, and Henderson's not really got that, you know, that no, creativity yeah. or whatever. They were battering him. The Do Liverpool you know fans what? And now he he done well to Do you know shut the issue up. with um I think any midfielder that plays for Liverpool is your requirement isn't to be kind of this kind of you know through balls and whatnot. It's to be an engine, and that's why sometimes you see Ronaldo uh, internationally. He's a masterclass player, and then when yeah. it comes to Liverpool, you can't sh- you can't string a shot Doesn't together. Have, yeah. It's because you're used to doing something over and over again. Do you remember the period last year when Henderson was telling um Klopp that I want to play in the point, I want to be creative, yeah, yeah, and he was getting bad boy assists and everything. Like these guys, like they can play, but if you're used to doing something week in week out, and you have they're to playing a specific that, role. In it's that tough, midfield, man. Yeah. It's tough. Like it's, Henderson's not gonna magically start balling out if he's been told to to do doggies. In the middle of the park all the time, but I mean, how at Liverpool for getting the results? Liverpool, they Liverpool well, I mean, they they bat. They, if you think about it as well, they battered they battered Spurs in terms of it, it was relentless. Like but, they, bro, like when Spurs every single time Spurs had the ball, they'll lose it to Liverpool. Bro, and Liverpool, yeah. keep I was going, tired and, watching you know what I mean? our players chase. Yeah, do you know what I'm trying to say? I was like, look, I feel sorry for them. I knew, but what I don't understand, what I was confused about, is why. How did Klopp go from... I mean, not Klopp, sorry. How did you lot go from 1-0 up? You guys should just see it as, look, it's 0-0, whatever, mm-hmm. and nil, continue nil, playing. Yeah, like, like the typical Sunday league shout is 0-0, mm-hmm. nil, nil, and what? just continue playing. But you guys, as soon as you got that 1-0, you were like, oh, shit, we're 1-0 up. Yeah. There was it's no defend, it's defend. And then once you defend yeah, for yeah. 90 minutes against Liverpool at Anfield, Anfield. this isn't... It's United could do it it's at Old Trafford, maybe... At you've, Anfield, you've had nah, you've highlighted what the issue is. Yeah. I don't think they expected it. it happened so quickly where they thought, you know what, this is Anfield. Bro, mm. you can defend it, and you, you can't do it at Anfield. I think Anfield's one of those stadiums where you have to concede that you know what it's going to be a long ninety minutes, and you have you either fight fire with fire or you can't just sit down and absorb it. That must be just hearing the fans alone must be mm. tiring. Bro, sixtieth minute, I even sent in the group chat. I was like, yo, this, the minutes are going on too long. Like, sixtieth <laughs> yeah. minute felt like the ninth. Yeah. Minute. I was like, scary place to play, man. That's like old school, um, the bridge, old mm. school OT. Like it's, um, it's nuts. But that was listen, a good goal. That was good. Poach's instinct, like, well, by yeah. Kane. I like that goal. To be no, hold that Kane. That's um, six goals, now, isn't it? Yeah, six sixteen goals, and last seventeen as well. Mm. How many I pens? Never saying he fell off. How many pens? Couple, but you gotta put them away. What certain pen record? Certain, mm. So who who Spurs got next? You guys have got um, you got Everton, you got West Ham, Sheffield United. So teams like around your level now, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? You've been, you've been holding just, that I'm, for a week now. <laughs> <laughs> <isn't it>? <laughs> <laughs> the teams around this, your level, right? The gap between <laughs> yeah, listen, and full Don't worry is about three gaps, bro. Don't worry about three gaps. Points, You're not yeah. in, you weren't interested in gaps hey, last listen, week. Listen, I'm just were you interested in gaps last week? I'm giving you the facts. You're eleven. You're eleven. You're eleven. Now you're seventh. You're feeling confident again. You're eleven. You're eleven. That's all I can say. It's cool. All I can say. Look, you got West Ham. Look, we you got West Liverpool. Ham. You got West Ham Liverpool. soon. They're yeah. tenth, so your rivals. Definitely. You got Everton. They're only what two points behind you, so your rivals. Mm, six point off. Sheffield United. Mm, that's more. Everyone's that's, that's, our rival eight. at the minute. They're, they're Everyone's our rival. You guys. Mm. <laughs> they're above you guys. Don't worry about them. The form looks all the around their rivals. Yeah. <laughs> Say no more. No, what is what is <laughs> interesting? <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. Um, um, it's, the, it's the worst um, f- um, start since Poch started. Yeah. It's the first time you've been in the bottom half of the table. Yeah. It's nothing to look into, you, but mm. first time you've been in the bottom half since Poch started. Um, we we'll leave out that in it because we've already had. <laughs> what a is that? It's just we don't need <laughs> to talk too. Much. We don't need to talk too much. <laughs> we find a conversation. It's a, it's a long <laughs> season. It's a long season, well, but we, still, we'll listen. That. Let's get into it, man. Where's Shaka to the right to tell the fans to f off, boy? <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, Arsenal fans, boy. Listen, I stand with Shaka. You know, we'll talk. Shaka, what? I stand with Shaka. You do? Yeah. Talk to me. I stand with Shaka. Do you know, I stand with Shaka. Yeah. Talk to me. Listen, let's let's strip it down. Yeah. End of the day. Arsenal players, players came out and were the ones that voted for Shaka to be the captain. So it wasn't no Emery doing no dictatorship or anything like that. Arsenal players collectively said, Shaka, you are the leader of our club. Yeah, so 
as a captain, you're not going to start nine times. Nine times out of ten, you're going to be starting. You're going to be in the unless pitch. You're, unless your club captain. The way, issue but the way, oh, yeah, okay, you can say it, but these are the pl- the players voted for that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, players. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm not even. When people saying, "Oh, why is he starting?" He's the captain of the club. He's the leader of the club. They have just said that he's the he's the leader. And what Arsenal fans are trying to do for me is you need a scapegoat of course everyone always wants to find a scapegoat but i'm sorry there's about four five six seven of them that are awful players wait wait wait. so there's about five six seven of them that are not great do you know what i'm trying to say in my eyes yeah so you can't just try and pin everything on shaka and how he's become he hasn't done anything out of character in terms of like he's never bad mouthed anyone he hasn't done anything so you guys to come out and boo him when he's coming off come on bro that's that's just disrespectful that's perfect here's here's where my issue is yeah so my issue is Forget the whole Shaka thing. I have a very, very big issue with uh, Mr. Emery because my thing is here, right? Listen, his form has been identical to the person before. Nothing's really changed. Um, the formation he should have played and the system he should have played, he hasn't played. It's not Shaka's fault that Shaka's starting and Torreira's not starting, whatever that all nonsense is. And if you think about it, after this happens, he tries to pin it on Shaka being like, oh yeah, he may not be captain and whatnot. He's doing exactly what Jose did and Jose got bullet for, but everyone's going to focus the energy on the player. The manager's been shit. Let's call it what it is. Like he's been very poor, very shit. And that's where they're here. Like no. I don't understand why the captain's getting blamed for this. Bro, that's not captain like behavior. That's why. Like, I let's remember that. that is like that's the leader of your team. You cannot do that as a representative of that has been nominated by yeah. your teammates. You're now letting your teammates down by acting like that. True. So for me, and and also the other thing is as well. It's like it's how one many thing of these being teammates the come out to say that starting every game yet, but it's like there's many captains within a team. Like mm. Socrates, for example, could easily take the armband. Mm. And I'm sorry, I think Arsenal's fans' main frustration isn't even with how he leads the team. It's mm. genuine performances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaka has been poor for Arsenal a long time. since he has signed. And I'm sorry, but if you look at their midfield now, they've got Gwenduzi, mm-hmm. Torreira, Ceballos, Saka, mm. Willock. I just named you five central midfielders who are all better mm. than him. Clearly in but every who's aspect. Pick, who's picking him to stop? No, no, no. Yeah, Potentially Saka who's and picking him to stop? And I'm sure Arsenal fans right now would who prefer is, one of those two. Who he's, is, a he's, a, he's a white man, but... Who, he, is, who is picking him to stop? Who? Shaka? Is Emery is. Shaka Emery there? is. Don't, I'm don't telling me you, wrong. Listen. Who, who is putting Torreira on the bench? Emery is. But okay. at the same time, when you are put in them positions, you must perform. Yeah, of when course. Shaka if you, is, if when you Shaka are is trying, given that many chances, listen, I'm sorry. If you're no trying, trying. No, no, no. My thing is, in, listen, listen. Four years in. Listen, if you're bad, you're bad. But at the end of the day, right? Then you need to then you need to walk to your manager and say, listen, my performances ain't helping this team. If you're a true captain and you want to take the leadership role, stand down. Listen, I'm stand telling down. you, yeah. So what? If, 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 if I was Shaka, Shaka if, if I was Shaka, Shaka I would have told if I was Shaka, he just said, do this. I would have told him to suck their mum. Thank and I'm you. Being, I'm In being what, other, what other line of work can you get abused? How can you go? What kind of what kind of line of work can you get abused? And be telling like him, talking about my daughters and, about, that. and then what? saying so that. So fans oh, aren't allowed to have opinions now. And so you can start talking about my daughters and that. Start talking about someone's pregnant wife and that. Bro, no, no, no. I'm talking today when he walked off the pitch. No one talked about his pregnant wife. They booed him. Listen, And you think that's a way to act. Bro, if any club captain acted like this, is this an asset? Is this an asset? What do you think? Roy Keane would do. Roy Keane what do you think Roy Keane would do? If the United answer, fans tried to, if the United fans tried to boo it. Roy Keane, what do you think he would do? Is this an I said incident? Why they're booing? Is this an I said incident? All over them. Is this an I said incident? All over them. Is this an? This is real, real men. Real men. Is this an I said incident? Did the Shaka thing just magically happen today? No, exactly, that's what I'm man. Saying. So we can't look at it. building over so we time. Can't that's why they're booing him. They're not booing man. him for Bro, one game. No, no, you can't look at isolation. I fully understand what you're saying in terms of. I get. Listen. Shaka's been poor, yeah? He has been poor. We 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 know that, yeah? But many other players have been poor. You guys booing him is just trying to... You're trying to find excuses, bro. And that's why I don't like... It's not Shaka the reason it why you your, guys... Are, it is wait, your shit manager. To, it back to... Exactly. Back to, like, Emery, yeah? Or whatever. That's where your focus should be. It shouldn't be on a... Bro, I'm the same way. With when, when United had um well, last that? season. when yeah. Last season. And at the end, you guys are... Shouting at Pogba, and what, what are you guys sure. doing? It's Hosey. Like, what Come are you on, guys man. doing? Like, like, I don't agree with all that shit. My thing is, the thing. look at, at the look at the lot of course. people who would agree that the criticism Pogba was getting was rightfully so. Am no, I right? listen, Clowns. criticism. Am I right? Clowns. No, listen. My thing is right. I I get the sentiment of what you're trying to say, but my thing is right. The only thing that I have a major issue with is if it's um two two and you're you're losing, you're winning two 0 it's going to two two. Maybe show a bit of urgency and whatnot. But for you to stop booing and whatnot. Cool. 
you said that they voted for him, right? Cool. So the whole fan base is being the person that you voted for. So how is that going to make the players feel? If he's been so shit for three years, why are the players voting for him to be captain? As they said, Terea, Come on, players Terea, voted, not Terea, the fans. Terea, no, but, no, but, no, but this is what I'm saying. If the, he was, he's been shit for three years. These are professional footballers, right? If he's been shit for three years, why are the players still voting for him to be captain? Knowing that he's going to play week in, week out. around and throws himself Bro, around on the training Terea, ground. Come on, man. Terea, as they, they, I saw, I can't remember how I saw say it. Um, Passion, when Terea though, got, when, when, when Shaka got red card, I mean, when they started booing him, Torreira looked at the fans and were like, come on, like, what are you guys doing? Who said it? Robbie. Robbie said it, yeah. He was, he was like, come on, man, what are you guys doing? Think How is that? Me- so now Torreira can be thinking, when I have bad games, are these guys going to boo me? Now, when it's yeah. half time, when it's half time and you yeah. get booed, wait, when it's half time and you get booed as a team, cool, but it's a team. You shouldn't be targeting individuals and booing. As, as, Bro. As on your own team, how you? Nah, if you had I, 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 I'm not even an Arsenal the, fan, but if you had Shaka on your team, mate, I've got, I've got Jesse Lingard. I've got Jesse years, Lingard. Has he I've cost got, you as many goals as Shaka has? Mate, I've got a few clowns Bro, on my Shaka team. I wouldn't do that. Car crash. Listen, happen, let's go man. back to what I said. You said that he's been shit for three years. There's way better options as well. That's the, that's the main options, frustration. I but think with Arsenal the players, like you said, have nominated this guy as captain. Shouldn't guarantee a start. Then that's the fucking manager's problem. I'm sorry. Therefore, the root cause is still the manager. Yeah, like, of course we we know that the yeah, manager's yeah. the issue, but this is an isolated incident, you know. No, hundred percent. My incident. thing is, my my thing is, like, listen, like. So what are you saying, sack Emery? No, my thing is, listen. I, he was right to tell the fans to f off. He's got to take a stand for it, man. Especially if it's isolated. It's, this is not just this. This is all of the abuse. It gets pent up, man. What is man supposed to watch the fans? If we, if we are I don't to, think if any player are... telling fans to f off is going to turn out well. Well, for them. yeah, I agree. No, hundred percent. No, no circumstances. Up, but he's got but, to stand come up. Come on, you got what you got to understand. You want, but it ain't going to turn out. What you got to understand? Yeah. What would you have done? I would have taken my booze and walked off. Simple. No, the thing is, I would have taken my booze and walked off. Do you get? Do you? At least, obviously, I get what you're saying, but do you understand where he could be? I can completely hear his frustration. He's like, why am I being... But he's why been, am I being... Thing, yeah, I even mean when that. they lost um, a couple of weeks ago, he tried to blame the forwards. He's been taking these veiled digs all season mm. at his own team, yeah? Pushed. And it's like, hold on, you're the captain and you're doing these little no, sneaky moves in the media. One. And mm. now the fans have turned... Because the fans see all of this shit. We mm. all have access to it on our phones. And now, now you're surprised that people are booing you. Yeah. Get out of here, man. On no. that one, on that one, that what he did on that day was a mistake. Th- but this is but a at the end of the day, though, my thing is, this again, is a we've seen bare Premier League captains where their team needs go, you know, I need more from this, need more from that. They're the captain. The amount of times I see Roy Keane mm. that teammates and be like, listen, we need more. John Terry's done it bare. So at the end of the day, that one, mm, it's a bit left and right because a captain's role, you are the manager on the pitch. Mm. So my thing is, you know what? He might be giving shit performances yeah, mm. but if he's raising the performance level of everyone else, then well, he's still a captain. He's still trying to do something. My thing Arsenal is, Henderson, look at Henderson. Henderson's not the best player in the thing. Henderson's cost him bare mistakes, but still, he still tries. Got a winner. To, that's today, but I'm saying in general, my thing with Shaka is, cool, you said he's been shit for three years and whatnot. Yes, his performance level should be high, but again, if you look at the manager, does the manager deploy him how he should be? Yes or no? I don't know there. Does the manager deploy any of those players how they should be? That manager, he's clueless, with, man. With, Let's call it with, what with, it is, with, man. That's dumb. With, he's a dun. With, with Emery, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, the way I look at it, when I look at managers, yeah, I always got to look at something that's going to be a positive. Like, what what can I look at that makes me think, okay, there could be something out of this, yeah? What, he started soccer? Like, wait, wait do, do you improve players? No. no. Um, have your transfers like you? banged? No. Not really. gundozi has been all right. The rest... Not really, they haven't banged. Yeah, yeah. Have you got the results? No. Do you play good football? No. 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 And now we always got to compare it to the previous manager, right? Mm-hmm. Same everything, same. everything Wenger did, Emery's doing, except yeah. Wenger actually played better football. Mm-hmm. So so, so uh, all in all, Emery's just it's doing a very, good. very average What did job. Van Persie say this week? Van Persie said this that is what they asked for. Something, and he said that it doesn't even look like he can give clear instructions to his players. Mm, yeah. Now, this is someone right, that betrayed Arsenal, right? <laughs> and all the Arsenal fans are like, you know what, he's right about the manager. Cool. So if this is what people outside are saying, God knows yeah. what they're thinking in the change room, bro. No wonder why Torreira stand with Shaka because he knows that like, the whole thing's a mess. When you look at Come it, on, yeah. Man. If, you look, at, look, if you look at... Arsenal's history of captains, yeah, you got Gallas crying on the pitch. For mm-hmm. me, I was going to say you got you got Van Persie coming to United and getting a sta- um getting a guard of honor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got Koscielny in the summer taking off his top, saying "fuck Arsenal" and wearing it's some a other bad top. List. You got Shaka saying "fuck you guys" to the fans. You've got you've got Fabregas who did did a runner. <laughs> you got Vieira who did a runner. It's a you mad got Henri- list. Arsenal captains are cursed, mate. That 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 armband is not. Is, you would say. 
Adam's an alcoholic. Kid, man. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> you oh, oh, sorry. I'll be honest. PG. I think nah, Shaw, nah, that, that captain in, armband, yo, it's not, it, it's not treated with respect. To they don't I it. think it's one of those clubs where I think being the, especially at this time, being the captain of like Manchester United or Arsenal right now, mm-hmm. It's, just, it's, it's worth it. As I said, it's it's as I said we go back to... It's like, you know, old it, school, England, the England manager's job. Yeah. It's just toxic because everyone's going to focus everything at you when sometimes it is not even you. You're going to be the scapegoat. Bro, 100%. Bro, 100% man, who is on, United's man. captain? Is Ashley Young, like... What? That no, but that's why. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, how like, much shit does he what? get all the time? Hundreds. That's what I'm Even saying. When we would never boo him. Bro, it's, these, it's these guys were lining up for autographs um, at the end of the season and booing Pogba. This is how deluded our fan base is. But anyway, let me not even go back into that. Listen, man, but that enough. Shaka thing is the most Don't get me wrong. thing that. I've seen since the Galas thing, I would say. Like, from a captain mm. on the pitch that I've seen, the Galas no, thing Gallas and the Shaka worse. thing. Yeah. Galas thing is was next. Yeah, but anyway, that's, that's some so, throwback. No, but, um, that's stop his what Kashoni did was, chow- was childish. <laughs> Which one? Kashoni, when he, he left oh, yeah. and then did the whole thing. with. At the least clock. he no, wasn't no, a player. This isn't in, like mid-game yeah, whilst yeah, the game yeah. is going on. Oh, you're These talking like incident. Whilst the match is this going This Shaka incident is probably their worst on-field incident since Abue came on and got Wow. And then had a mayor yo, yo, subbed off again. No, it's head, it's and they it's booed him. Bro, it's head, you see, that booing was harsh. Now, this booing, give it to him. Bro, you know. give nah, it, a boo booing one, on. I'm sure even Arsenal fans cool, regret you know that what? one. Last thing on this year, them going from 2-0 two, two up to 2-2. Two, two. Was it Shaka's fault? It's just Arsenal being Arsenal. Bro. All right, cool. So <laughs> why is that pen up aggression gone on the captain? That's the, my last point. Oh, oh, and but, you've got to give credit to Crystal Palace for, for, for getting it back. Bro, Crystal listen, Palace have been Crystal doing well and this I, season. I'll, I'll be honest. I actually think Arsenal were unlucky. I think that Socrates goal should have counted. That VAR. Yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah. But, but VAR is rubbish. You know that. For, the, for bro, this week or last week. But let's never go into that because I'll get they mad. They should have won. They called me crazy when I said Jordan AU's the star man at, <laughs> at, at Palace. Mm-hmm. No, said, but what did I say? Look, look, what, what, leading line. Boy, no, Zaha no, needs no, to fall back. No, but what did we say? Zaha runs into the box, gets fouled, number four dispatches. Mm. He got booked that's for that for Palace, yeah. didn't it? No, they rescinded. They took it back. I was like, yo, that's yeah. mad. That was so clear penalty. They hate Zaha yeah. still. The, the refs hate him still. Um, Chelsea, 4-2 result. Um, the streets are asking, is Lampard a real deal or is this just kind of like a good luck, a goody phase? Or is this this is this Lampard? For me, Lampard is the real deal. Thank and you. I'll okay. say why I'll say Thank why you. I think Lampard's the real deal because as you guys know, I was supporting Derby, Derby last, last season, season. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually yeah. watching Derby actively, yeah. Up. I know exactly what Lampard offers. Any yeah? games? What do you say? He goes to any games. Nah man, hopefully with Rooney there I can get to some games. But, <laughs> yeah. but nah, in all honesty, like I've seen what he was doing at Derby. I saw the foundation that he laid. As Every I said, single player improved. Exactly. Players Every improved player. and he got young players in there and they were the three best players for Derby last season. And then now he's come with better quality. And what was the, I just laid out things for what I think a manager should have um, with Emery. Good Lampard, style of football. Does, does, he imp- does, does he improve players? Tick. I think he's improved players. Good style of football. Jorginho looks a lot better. Kovacic, Kovacic looks better. Tomori's come into the league and it looks... looks he, good. I, I thought he was going to flop in the Premier League. Mount. Tammy Abraham, we, we know what mm-hmm. he's doing. Mount. Results, the results starting to come. Seven wins in a row. You can't deny it. Yeah. Seven wins in a row. That's that's excellent. Plays better football. I believe... I don't know in the grand scheme. I saw Sarri's football at Napoli, but at Chelsea, I think Frank Lampard plays better football. And what was the last thing I said? I can't even remember what the last thing I said was, but in terms of what he's coming and done, he's doing everything for Chelsea at the level they are right now. He's doing the right job. And in, and for me, Chelsea are about four signings away from being a title contending team. This no, is, so this is this is, this is, what this is what this for is me it's different. It's let me tell you why. Let me tell you why it's different, and it's not even because the permanent. Thing. Don't forget Hazard left. You might don't forget Hazard so left. So my I thing is, yeah, I said <laughs> this. I said this. Everyone right, Chelsea. I said this right at the beginning, yeah. For them to bring Lampard in, my only fear is that he could play good football and get sacked if we don't win anything. But they wouldn't do that immediately because that because that's not fair. Now hear what I'm saying in terms of Chelsea have played good football before, but if you're not delivering the big things. You, you get sacked. You can't do that to a man that's got nothing. He's okay. come in. The youth players are playing exceptionally well. Um, he's developing players. And the thing is, he's managing very well as well. Pulisic yeah. wasn't doing too well. Took him out of the squad. Brings yeah, him in when he starts hero. finding form. Hudson O'Day wasn't playing. Took him off. Look, he starts playing well. At the end of the day, right, you cannot substitute good coaching. And what you have to think as well is, like, people say, that, oh, this Jody Morris thing here and there. If you've got players, yeah, that from the best academy and they're doing, they're come to a level now mm-hmm. and you've got someone that's seen them develop 
actually managing them as well day to day. How they're not how are you not gonna get the best out of them? But you this say that known, but he's like, known United but United Morris have is. United have McKenna. That ain't working out. Jody Morris. He was known under eighteen manager. How long? Yeah. For how long? So he's gonna try and get the best out of him. I think he is good. My mate, thing Lamp's, is Lamps IQ is one hundred and fifty, mate. And he's not a dumb guy. <laughs> he's a very intelligent <laughs> man. The thing is with, with, with like Chelsea, just, like I said, what will be interesting is to see what happens. Because I said after the United game when we lost 4-0 to you, mm. I said, I do not know if they're going to adapt to this football quickly enough. Mm. It looks like they have. Let's but see what happens. Not complicated. Football, his football no, is not complicated. Bro. It's actually yeah, a very bro. simple brand of football. But no, just a thing, bro, 100%. But when things are not going right for you, mm. that's when things can go left. Mm. That's what I need to see from Chelsea now. Because we had that incident. It's been smooth sailing since. Champions League is going to right and whatnot. Let's see what happens when we've got big um, big away fixtures coming up. That away Every, win and yeah. at Ajax? Was very not cute. even. Uh, I wouldn't what be, a no, win. No, 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 Thank no, 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 no. Don't be fooled by that because Ajax, if you look at even last season when they were sick, mm. their home record was not good in the mm. Champions League. Away legs was where they was doing most of the yeah, but bro, when so was the last time they lost? They like, haven't lost for it. a long no, time. No, but if you look at the big games, they played Liverpool twice now, mm. United, if you want to call it a big game, mm. and then Valencia. They lost mm. all of those games. So all the games are you know, say don't challenging write off opposition. Ajax is a big game. No, 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 no. We thought Ajax would beat them. Ajax, is, Ajax, we only called him a big game off cool. the back of their Champions League so, run. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. No, no, I'm not knocking Lampard. No, no, no. He's actually saying. a good coach. But, yeah. but I'm saying, it's is it too it's, soon? No, no. But yeah, on the okay. point you raise now, too soon? I'll raise you this: the United one, very naive, mm. very naive chances weren't taken. Cool, implement something else. Um, the Liverpool first match, game you played much Very, very, very good. The one where we lost at home. Um, played, played well could it, again could have take chances Tammy, um, yeah. Valencia game mm. what happened poor conceding um, from set pieces yeah. what's happened since then it's, Zuma it's is looking a lot better no, my one issue no, yeah. that's the no, other issue. issue let's be honest Zuma's let's gonna be no, 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 the first he's, one out he's improving let's be honest but every game you score you look like conceding a couple no, that's the other issue listen I I said this to be honest 23 goals 16 conceded 16 goals is the same level as Mm. Don't uh, compare Tottenham, it. Tottenham, it Tottenham, same Tottenham, as Tottenham, same Tottenham, as shocking this season. We're looking at All Newcastle. All these you're comparing that. to are shocking. I'm saying 100%. for me, we can credit Lampard. But in the last few games, has it not improved? It has improved. But what and do we this expect is what from Lampard? Like, what is the expectation for the Lampard? The expectation this year? is but just this, to get them into the Champions League. I think. But this to comes back through this period of the transfer ban without plummeting down, too, too see much. See what we can do. Get the this get the Hudson in while yeah. Hazard obviously oh, because of Hazard but gone. This yeah, comes and back and see what, what you what can I build said on next initially, season. Initially, Chelsea are one of those clubs where realistically, in the moment now, as much as it hurts me to say it, we can't say that we want to contend for big stuff. But as soon as this season's over, it's going to be like you know you've done well. Let's get back to business as usual, yeah. where we want to be there. We're not one of these clubs where it's kind of been like, you know what? Okay, you know, get a get a measly third and fourth and get FA Cup. That's never been good enough. Because literally, and yeah. that's where I think you know what this season's great because you can set foundation, set the way of playing and whatnot. And what people are not talking about is there's still a lot of injuries. You've got Kante that can come back in. Mm -hmm. People are gonna say, oh, he's, Ruben Loftus Cheek can come back in. They've got players that. Ruben's different type of is good, but he doesn't get into this yeah, team yeah, at the yeah, moment. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. In terms of, you know, you, lift, you mm. listed off how many players for, for Spurs. Yeah. If you list off all of the cent central players um, for Chelsea, they all bring something yeah. different. Mm. So you can yeah. do different things. My Same thing with your wingers. Yeah. Uh, the forward line is where it's a bit, you know what, but Batshuayi scored, what, I think four and five, five games five coming off five. the bench. Olivier Giroud. Olivier Giroud has not even got a shine in yet. So at the end of the day, like Chelsea are doing well with what they've got. Where the real test is, when we have those away games now, What's going to happen? Can we stop conceding? Because that's where the real test is. This is great right now, yeah. but there's going to be Right now, he's just tests. done what Oli's done. And for me, I'm not even, say, even if he gets... Do you know what's gets, different with Oli? No, no, but hear this. Even if he Go gets on. Champions League this year, gets Champions League next year, till Lampard gets Chelsea back to where they were, mm. I don't want to give him their chance because he will basically be just another Pochettino. But but if you look at him, but yeah, yeah, I hear Pochettino saying, for the no, last three, four look, years has been doing playing pretty football, mm. incorporating youth, doing it on mm -hmm. uh, a tight budget because yeah, this season yeah. he's on a transfer mm. ban. So essentially, he's just another Pochettino. Yeah. No, wait, so, wait, wait. So but, he needs but, to get Chelsea back to where they course. were before That's we start a long saying. Time. But the thing is, if you the real deal, and if you say to say that it's like Oli, it's different because. Ollie came in a, in a no, press I mean, squad just a and just blah, 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 blah. I don't, yeah, yeah. Lampard you know, has actually start, implemented yeah. something. He's actually had a preseason. He's actually, so I can't compare Ole and Lampard's situation. I wouldn't even and, do that. So I wouldn't compare that. Ole's situation, personally. let's call it for where it was. Yeah. They were under a dictatorship. 
it changed. <laughs> Someone else came in. They said, you know what? This is freedom. This is let's fresh. try. And when they realised he was a bum, what happened to the results? Let's be real. Let's call it what it is. It's not similar to the Oli phase. Am, am I wrong in saying No, 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 no. I, I agree. As in, it's a bright, hot sooner. start. That's no, what I mean. I'm not even calling it's it a bright, right hot start. Right now, it's been a good start. When Oli it came could get in, bumpy. Christmas period is around the corner. It's no, true. 100%. But that's, again, comes back to what I said. I think he's a real deal, but we will see the real test when you've got those away games. I mean, it depends it. what you mean by real deal, though. Like, is he a good manager? Is he a good coach? Good gaffer? Listen, the guy's yes. a good Is coach. he a real deal? Now we're talking like, about like, is he an elite? He's going to be Jose. He's yeah, going to be Pep. Yeah, we don't know that. We don't know that. A handful of games. You can't, you no, can't tell that yet. Is he a real deal? Is he a good coach? Yes, Definitely. if he was to leave Definitely. Chelsea, can he go and get another job like ever earn like this? Easily. Yeah, Easily. maybe. Easily. You know what I'm, saying? I'm, I'm just saying, could he? Yeah. Well, I heard this week if he Ollie could left be the England next manager or whatever. I can see it down the line. I can see it down the line. That's Chris listen, Wilder, mate. We got that one for Chris yeah. Wilder. That one's penciling for Chris Wilder. Listen, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on swiftly, man. Um, so, Leicester. Leicester are doing big, big things. So they beat um, Southampton 9 0. Nine. Vardy got a hat trick, which is funny because wow. you bigged him up last week. He's uh, he's past Burkup now, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Ayose Perez got a hat trick. Um, R- oh, Rogers, Rogers, yeah, Rogers, <laughs> Rogers, <laughs> ball is looking very, you know, mm-hmm. tantalizing. This That's is after selling. This <laughs> after selling their centre back for seventy five million. Mm. Um, I bet. I bet he regrets that. <laughs> I bet he regrets that. <laughs> so Maguire wasn't looking mad for Leicester last season. No, I'm just saying. Listen, here's a, here's all I want to know. Yeah, was it the system making Maguire look that good, or was it Maguire looking that good at Leicester? Listen, there's rice right at home. Right now, bro. Leicester, the way they're looking like they don't bro. even need Maguire. The rice is at home. That's a good manager. That shows a good manager. That shows a very good manager. So so very good manager. And yeah, to be really? fair, Sayonku does look like a good signing bro. so far. And the thing but is, then again, now we're talking about... So if you don't know, because if Sayonku mm. was now to get to get signed by Arsenal, we don't if he got signed by United, all of a sudden... Because you know what? Them I'm not saying it's... Them Chelsea... No, Chilwell said the other day, oh... um. Oh, we 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 know we're on TV, so we're gonna try and put a show out, or we're gonna try and play good, bro. You don't know. If you play for like Manchester that. United. If you play for us, you're on TV every week. Every <laughs> single. It's every a different week. type of pressure. So it's not it's not the same. Fans to say making that. threads on you on Twitter, but the bro, reason why we have but to no matter what you do, what's I don't suppose it's own you. The reason why I, I want I give him credit is because he started off a bit shaky. He's improved. Yeah, gave away the yeah, penalty at Old Trafford as well. Question we need to go into is based on how Leicester performing, what top um top six clubs should be worried about Leicester? Every top six club, you worry every single one. Of them. Well, obviously, what you got the two. Yeah, the obviously, two other about. than them two, every every club, Leicester are just at the moment the way they look. Like, look, their stats. They are look not just joking, like you know, twenty five goals, look. eight conceded. That's that's not no like or like little. We got some grinds. These are convincing, comfortable wins that they're getting as well. So I think every no, team should be, be worried. Fair, and they're, they're only playing one game a week. You know? I'm not they're taking five. Game. Twenty five is nine goals. But no European football. They've got twenty five. There is from the nine goals. Yeah, it's fair. But they've got they've got no European football, and you look at their starting eleven. I think is just as good as any team in the top six. You look at their full. How backs, about the bench? You look at their. You look How at Madison creating. No, he's. You great. look at Tielemans. How Vardy is a top striker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ashley Schmeichel is a good goalkeeper. Like it, from the starting eleven aspect, they can keep up. With I, I agree with what you're Spurs, saying. Spurs. If you like, look at if you, you just to like, back your point, Chilwell. As I said to you in the group chat, Chilwell, Vardy. Tillisman, um, Chilwell, um, no, wait, Chilwell, Vardy, Madison, Pereira, Tillman, Pereira, start who else from most it? clubs, Suyunku, even them six players, indeed, will indeed, there's seven players could oh, easily yeah. start for most the of other teams in the top sides. six, yeah, mm. easily. About so five me, of them, about five of them, wait, Vardy, let's, let's Vardy. Pause. because mm. people are going to look into it, excluding, it's fair to say, excluding City and Liverpool, yeah, exclude Chilwell. Does he start for every other team? Yes. Yep. Vardy. Yep. Uh, does he start? I mean, you can debate. Does he? You Aubameyang, can make an argument. Does he? You can make an argument. He starts for you the Royal. Yeah, the thing is, the fact you can make an argument shows exactly, that they've got good exactly. enough. Exactly. Madison. He starts for me. He starts for starts every for, other team. Gets into the Spurs team right now. So there's Pereira. He starts for every other team. So they've got a good actual first eleven. Is actually patterned, and they're playing one game a week. If they can keep that core of, well, obviously it's, it's about injuries, isn't it? If they can keep them guys fit. Every single week. So what you're Dangerous. saying is... Th- Leicester, Leicester saying, can easily back up for the United, top four the way it's looking. United, Chelsea, Spurs, Arsenal should all be worried. Of course. Cool. So who's who's course. actually going to finish top six then? Obviously, we know the we first don't two. Know. We, we don't know. We don't know. I think... Yeah, first two. Uh, but what order? City, what order are you going? I'd say Chelsea third again. Yep. I think. I think 
Spurs will take fourth and then Leicester will finish fifth. Mm. So you're saying Arsenal United below that? I think six. Arsenal, yeah. So you're saying that United, Arsenal, you're saying United, Arsenal. you're saying United, United are not yeah. getting Europe. I think, I think United will end up missing out. That's interesting. That way, somehow, if we're, we're going to miss out, please. If we're and not going to get top four, and I think that will be your way of seven. getting Oli out. Please start. Like, if fresh. we're not going to get top four, <laughs> I don't want European football next season. Yeah. So that 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 would be lovely. But just touching. What's your, what's your order? I don't even really know right now, man. I'm not going to lie. I don't who really know. You, out of all of those teams, who do you reckon will miss out of Euro, um, European football? You no, no, Chelsea four? are going to get. I don't know if Leicester. I see. I'm not. I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing. I can't really say if they're going to get. I know they've got a good side, and I know they ain't got European football. I'll be very honest. But I don't know if they're going to get top four yet. They will get top four. And here's why. I just genuinely fear that when it comes to those certain because they play they play decent football, they try and attack and whatnot. I just feel that. It's a lot of it d- does depend on Vardy. Let's be honest. Yeah. Vardy is the outlet. People can chip him with goals, yes, but at the end of the day, a lot he of it does depend on. Well, yeah. He can go. F- thank you. He does go through his little pockets where he might not score for five games and whatnot. And you've got to play some big teams away. Mm. You've mm. got to play any. Think about it. if that's a mini league. Mm. If they go away, Rogers is a very good coach, mm. very good manager. But if they go away at those teams. Those teams are up for it. Come on, let's be realistic. Thing I will no, say. I mean, yeah. my, well, they my lost that Old Trafford. They they, they they went to Chelsea. Yep. They did well. Yep. They they went to Old Trafford. Okay, they lost. Yeah. And Spurs who else? Who, who else did they play? Did they played you guys? My thing is that was okay. that. My thing is with what you mentioned with United. The reason why I think United might suck sack Oli before the end of the season. I might climb up. The reason why I fear for United is we spoke about it before. You've played a lot of these teams, um, at top home. teams at home already. Yeah, and you've got second half. Decent reports. Second oh, half of the peak. year, it's I think peak. it's going to be very dark. It's going to get peak. And that's where I worry because you're already points um, behind mm-hmm. Spurs. A lot of your worries does depend on whether your Watch manager decides to perf- um, play a good team. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, Arsenal as mad as Arsenal situation are, I generally think that Oba can carry them a bit. <laughs> Obi nah. can carry them to another Europa League spot. That's, That's how what I I'm saying. It. I think he can carry like, them to that. He can't do more than that. The rest of the team don't help him. I think if they, they've got their fullbacks now, offer they can something. start incorporating you them. you offer something. I, I think, I think offer Chelsea something. can take first. With the I just don't know whether you guys can come climb to four. I don't think with, you can. So you think Leicester will get it then? I think that's what I'm saying. I think United so, will sack me, Oli and Lester, climb up. The, the one thing I, I will yo, say in their you, advantage uh, is... Nah, 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 that ain't happening. That's not happening. What, by, by, the time, by, the time, top four? by the time Oli gets sacked, we're going to be like... Jeez. If if he gets sacked, let's not say he is because we can't be saying that he's going to get sacked. If he gets sacked, by the time he gets sacked, yeah. we'll be like... Wait, how long is Pogba out for? Off. We'll be... So to Pogba out to December. Out to December. Yeah. Okay, that changes a But for me, like, for me, what... If you look at, like, as I said, because remember last week we were talking about Vardy, mm. we were talking about these players, and people, when I said Vardy's a legend, I don't know how the hell you could question if he's a legend. The guy Can is I not... Cup? Yeah. When I looked over at you, mm-hmm. I wasn't disputing. What I was looking over, I was thinking, what sort of legend is he? Because people can call Darren Bent a Premier League legend. I was trying to think, what kind of tear of legend is he caught coming up? No. He's doing that. If you're in the 100 club, <laughs> people will call you a legend for whatever you're doing. I mean, Lukaku's in the 100 club. He's not a legend. Yeah, you know I mean, he's no, not a legend. 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 You, 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 you got him saying. Look, yeah, I hear what before, you're saying. They'll call him a Premier League legend. So like, God, so yeah, the way, the way the way I see it, it is, is perfect. He's going to get 100 goals. Um, he's won a title. He's been a big player. Um I don't think there's much more. He could have moved to Arsenal. He stayed at Leicester, and he's still Bro, showing up. Teams. It's I mean. not even. It's not even just that. There's nothing to suggest that Vardy is not a legend. Yeah, because the reason why I say he's a legend. Yeah, obviously you just said that he passed Burkamp and stuff. Yeah, mm. which is obviously people say he's a legend. Whatever he is a legend. But look at the, I've got his stats from when he came to the Premier League. Yeah, mm. Vardy fourteen in his fourteen fifteen seasons got five goals. Leicester will almost get relegated. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Obviously, that's just entry level. Do you know what I mean? He's playing the white next fans. season, yeah. he scored 24 goals, won the league, got 11 consecutive games, broke the record of goals in consecutive mm. games. Yeah, Premier League champion with Leicester. Van Nistelrooy yeah? fuming, bro. 100%. The next season, 13 goals. Not all that, but Leicester had that. You know how you how how do you no, better champions be in the Champions League? Yeah, it's a season. Yeah. The next season, 20 goals. The next season, 18 goals. This season, nine goals in 10 games. Premier League top goal scorer at this present moment. And if you combine his goals and his assists, Vardy has played 186 games in the Premier League. He's got 89 goals, 25 assists. That's 114 goals and assists in 186 games playing for Leicester. That's hard. The guy came from nothing. 
like he came from yeah. nothing. Nah, literally. He came from nothing, and Conference. he's now this player. He's that like arguably the most feared striker in the Premier League. And I didn't even get. I didn't even. The, I didn't even get up his big game record. Only Aguero has a better big game record than him. How old is he? As well? The guy is a driller. He's thirty two. He is. A, he is That's certified. Mad. And anyone to doubt that, then you're just it arguing is, with yourself. We, I'm could not listening into, we could go into a whole other conversation, but that's all long. But that's why you have to respect some of these men because he is playing exactly how he played in non-league. It's just kind of direct brush and it's like you know what I'm gonna run all I day. think that's the thing he's and never changed his style and the thing is that's Bro, why he's 32 he looks like when, he's 25 when you look at when you look at Leicester you have to respect what Rodgers is doing because we spoke about it a few weeks ago when they won the, the Premier League you had Mahrez and whatnot, and you had Albright and whipping in balls and what not you had Kante and drink water it was kind yeah. of it's like a completely different just play completely different brand of football mm-hmm. now but they can still do the whole whipping it in and scoring mm-hmm. goals as well, which again, they scored one if from you can day, coach, man. if you can like coach, day. you can improve your players and you can do stuff. Because think about it, a lot of people would have looked... they have as well is the fact all of that, that they've been involved in uh, something like this as well. Like the league, when they won it, mm-hmm. like leading in something like this, I think with this Champions League spots now, if they can build up a good head of steam... Now, now when you look at it, when you look at it... I think, I think they'll, 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 they could possibly secure a top four spot this year. Brendan Rodgers is absolutely... He's absolutely shitting on the whole. He needs four windows. He needs three windows. Brendan Rodgers has come in and just coach. coach. Listen, yeah. certain man, yeah. Coaching bomb. Certain man top, would have top that team, for me. yeah. Certain man will have that team, yeah, and will be relying on corner kicks to score goals. That's exactly. what I'm going to say, bro. That's what I'm going to say. Imagine Madison. This was Tillerman pretty much the same team under Claudio Ranieri as well. Like no, not, no, it's, no, a no, no it's a different thing team. Different thing with Mahrez, no. Kante, Drinkwater. It's a different that team. That was the court. Who's yeah, Pereira? Morgan. Well, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, team. a yeah, very it's different, a different team. It's a different team. Puel, you got to give Claude Puel, Puel credit. Because he, he set built the foundation. This team. Oh, sorry, he Puel, Puel was the one I meant. Sorry, he set the foundation. He built the foundation, but the coaching. Rodgers has managed to get... How Tillersman is what, 20? 22, 22, 21. Indeedy, 21. Madison, 20. 21. They're all, 21, they're all 20 early twenties, yeah. yeah. They're um, early twenties. Barnes is coming in, fringe player. Are oh, you Jose Perez? Question is, Pereira's absolute still. If they do this, still there. If they do the this well, though, will they will will they lose all these players? That's the, can they that's keep the big them question. together? That's, that's that the big question. big question. If they can keep this squad together for a couple years, they could be regulars doing this. Yeah. I think. But the question is, will they? Because they've got wealthy well, owners as well Spurs who actually kept their players back together them. and look what happened yeah, there. They didn't spend money. They These men are actually willing to spend money. They're giving Vardy how much? No, I'm just calling wages. what is. The difference, if you look at Brendan Rodgers, the situation he's in, as you said, it's like, okay, I don't want to compare it because Dort- Dortmund went on and won things. Monaco won mm, things. Yeah. But when there's a smaller team overachieving, big clubs. And I think, already, and I think no, but already Chilwell, he might go Chelsea. Madison, Madison. he might go United. Like, Everyone's going to start trying to cherry pick. With Brendan Rodgers, uh, like, I think the Liverpool job at the time might have been too big for him. I, I agree. No, 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 no. But hear this. I think this lesser mm. job is perfect. This underdog role is the perfect, perfect role for him, honestly. Like, I think it's... it's Rodgers or Pep? I mean, sorry. Rodgers oh. or Poch? What? Rodgers or Poch? Poch. Behave. Come on. All right, cool. Come you know what? On. That's another episode, man. I wouldn't want to be Poch right now. Real talk. That's another episode. <laughs> um, SoundCloud, <laughs> Spotify... <laughs> What's that one? Apple. If all it of wasn't that for stuff. Gerard. If it wasn't, it wasn't for Gerard. That's going to be my hashtag soon. If it, it wasn't, wasn't for Gerard. For Gerard. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said if it wasn't for Gerard. Listen, that's another one. Wait. We're out, man. We're out, man. Bless. No way, man.